Today we'll study the linear D of n tan equation. Now any equation in one or more variables which is to be solved in integers is said to be a D of n tan equation. Now D of n tan equations, they may have any form and any number of variables. Here we are just going to talk about linear D of n tan equations and the simplest of which is ax plus by equals c where a, b and c are given integers in which a is unequal to 0 and b is unequal to 0. And in this we have to find integral solutions of x and y. Now before solving this equation we need to determine whether this equation is solvable in integers or not. And for that what we will do is for this linear equation we will find gcd of a and b. And suppose that gcd is d. Now if d divides c then this equation will have a solution and if d doesn't divide c then this equation will not have a solution. So the first thing that we will decide is whether this equation is solvable or not solvable. So all we need to do is simply take the GCD of A and B and check if it divides C. Now suppose this equation is solvable that is when D divides C in that case what we'll do is somehow we'll solve this equation to find particular solution x0 and y0 and then we can find a general solution to this equation by writing x as x0 plus b upon d into t and y equals y0 minus a upon d into t where t is an integral parameter. Now if we have a general D of n tan linear equation such as a1 x1 a2 x2 up to a n x n equals c then again we will check whether this equation is solvable or not. In that case again what we will do is we will find gcd of all the coefficients a1 a2 and a n which is suppose d and if d divides c then this equation is solvable and if d doesn't divide c then the equation is not solvable. Now what we will do is we will prove this theorem. Now suppose we have this linear d of n tan equation which is where a b and c they are integers and a is unequal to 0 and b is unequal to 0. Now we are looking for integral solutions of this equation. Now suppose gcd of a and b is d then we can write this a as dr and this b as ds where gcd of r and s is 1. Now if this equation is solvable then suppose it has a solution x0 and y0 we can write ax0 plus b y0 equals c. Now this a is dr and b is ds. So we can write d and then it is rx0 plus s y0 and it is equal to c which clearly means this d it must divide c. So this equation is solvable if and only if d divides c. If d doesn't divide c then this equation has no solution. Now how do we find its general solution? Now once we have any particular solution say x0 and y0 we need to find another solution and for that what we'll assume is suppose other solution is x dash and y dash. Now we can write a x0 plus b y0 equals c and it must be equal to a x dash plus b y dash. Now we can rewrite this as a x dash minus x0 and b y0 minus y dash. Now we know that this a is dr so it will be dr x dash minus x0 and this b is ds y0 minus y dash. Now this d will cancel so we will get r x dash minus x0 will be equal to s y0 minus y dash. Now we have taken gcd of r and s as 1 that means this r it doesn't divide s and s doesn't divide r which simply means that this r it must divide y0 minus y dash and this s it must divide x dash minus x0. Now if we look at this then we can write x dash minus x0 it must be some integral multiple of s. So we can write this as x dash minus x0 equals xt or x dash s x0 plus s into t. Now what is s? d into s is b then s is simply b by d. So we can write this general solution as x dash equals x0 plus 
b upon d into t and if we put x dash minus x naught as st then we get y naught minus y dash as rt or y dash will be y naught minus rt that is y dash is y naught minus r and r is a upon dt so this is how we find general solution to this simple linear Diophantine equation now let us take up some examples now this is the equation 2x plus 6y equals 2021 and we need to find integral solutions to this equation now here a is 2 and b is 6 now gcd of 2 and 6 is 2 and this 2 it doesn't divide 2 0 2 1 that means this equation has no solution so this linear Diophantine equation has no solution now we'll take another example in which is 5x plus 3y equals 4 now in this case gcd of 5 and 3 is 1 now 1 clearly divides 4 so this equation will have integral solutions now in order to write its general solution we need to find a particular solution that is x0 and y0 now we know that 5 minus 3 is 2 now we multiply it with 2 we can write 5 into 2 minus 3 into 2 it is 4 now here we can write x0 as 2 and y0 as minus 2 now this x is x0 2 plus b upon d now b is 3 and d is 1 so it will be 2 plus 3t and y will be y0 minus a upon d into t now a is 5 and d is 1 so it will be minus 2 minus 5t where t belongs to z so the general integral solution to this equation is x is 2 plus 3t and y is minus 2 minus 5t now let's take another one and which is 5x plus 3y plus 1 by 3z equals 100 and x plus y plus z is equal to 100 we need to find integral solution to this system of equation now we'll find z and we'll put it here so we'll write 5x plus 3y plus 1 by 3 now we can write this z as 100 minus x minus y will be equal to 100 so we multiply it with 3 we can write 15x plus 9y plus 100 minus x minus y will be equal to 300 or we can write 14x plus 8y and it is equal to 200 now we'll divide it by 2 so we can write 7x plus 4y equals 100 now we need to find integral solution to this equation now here gcd of 7 and 4 it is 1 so value of b is 1 and 1 it divides 100 so this equation is solvable in integers now we need to find one particular solution now we know that this 4 it divides 100 so 25 into 4 is 100 so one of the solution possible is if we take x0 as 0 and y0 as 25 we'll get one solution now x0 is 0 and y0 is 25 we can write its general solution its general solution will be x equals x0 plus b upon d now b is 4 and d is 1 so it will be simply 4t so we get x equals 4t and y y will be 25 minus now it is a upon d so it will be simply 70 so value of y is 25 minus 70 and this z it is nothing but it is 100 minus x minus y so it will be 100 minus 40 minus 25 plus 70 so it will be 75 plus 3t so value of z is 75 plus 3t so this is a general solution to this equation now if we have to find number of positive integral solutions to this equation now for positive integral solutions x is greater than 0 y is greater than 0 and z is greater than 0 now from this first one we'll get 4t greater than 0 that is t is greater than 0 now from this second one we'll get 25 minus 70 is 0 or t is less than 25 by 7 and here we'll get t is greater than minus 75 by 3 if we solve this we'll get t should lie between 0 and 25 by 7 now 25 by 7 is 3 point something so the only integral values of t possible in this case are 1 2 and 3 so this equation it will have three positive integral solutions now if you want we can write this solution also now if we take t as 1 
then value of x is 4 value of y is 25 minus 7 and 25 minus 7 is 18 and 75 plus 3 is 78 in the same way we can find solutions when t is equal to 2 and t equals 3 now let us take another one which is 141x plus 34y equals 30 and in this case if we find gcd of 141 and 34 this gcd is 1 so value of d is 1 and again 1 divides 30 so this equation is solvable in integers now first we need to find x0 and y0 in order to write general solution to this equation now for this what we'll do is we'll use euclid division algorithm now we can write 141 as 4 into 34 plus 5 i will take 34 and 5 we can write 34 as 6 into 5 plus 4 now we'll take 5 and 4 we can write 5 equals 1 into 4 plus 1 and then this 4 is 4 into 1 plus 0 so gcd of these two numbers it is 1 now we need to find x0 and y0 now we will construct this equation from here we can write 5 minus 4 is 1 now we will keep replacing this smaller term so we can write this 4 as 34 minus 6 into 5 so it will be 5 minus 34 minus 6 into 5 it will be equal to 1 so it will be 7 into 5 minus 34 it will be 1 now we will replace this 5 this 5 is 141 minus 4 into 34 minus 34 equals 1 so it will be 7 into 141 minus 28 and 1 so it will be minus 29 into 34 and it is equal to 1 so now we have 141 and 34 and we have this one now we need 30 here so we we'll multiply everything with 30 now if we multiply everything with 30 we can write 210 into 141 minus 870 into 34 and it is equal to 30 now if we compare it with this equation we can write value of x naught is 210 and value of y naught is minus 870 now we can write its general solution so it'll be 210 plus b by d into t so it'll be 210 plus 34t and here y will be minus 870 minus 140 1t where t belongs to integers so this is the general solution to this equation so for particular solutions we can use euclid division algorithm now here the question is we need to find integral solution to this equation which is 8x plus 14y plus 5z equals 11. Now if we find gcd of 8, 14 and 5 it is 1 and this 1 it divides 11. So value of d here is 1. Now we need to solve this equation. So what we will do is we will rewrite this equation as 2 into 4x plus 7y plus 5z equals 11 and now we will let 4x plus 7y as some other variable say w so now we have this simple linear equation which is 2w plus 5z and it is equal to 11 now for this equation if we find gcd of 2 and 5 gcd of 2 and 5 it is 1 and 1 divides 11 so this equation is solvable now we can write 5 as 2 into 2 plus 1 now 2 is 2 into 1 plus 0. So GCD is 1. So we can write 5 minus 2 into 2 is 1. Now we need 11. If we multiply it with 11, we can write minus 22 into 2 plus 11 into 5. It is equal to 1. So value of W0 is minus 22 and Z0 is 11. So from here we'll get w naught as minus 22 and z naught as 11 now we can write general solution for both now this w will be w naught which is minus 22 and plus b upon d b upon d is 5 so it will be minus 22 plus 5t and this z is 11 minus 2t where t belongs to z now here we need solution in x y and z not in w and z now we will put a value of w here. 
Now this W is 4x plus 7y. So we can write 4x plus 7y is equal to minus 22 plus 5t. Now in this case, GCD of 4 and 7, it is 1. So we can write 7s, 1 into 4 plus 3. Now this is 4 equals 1 into 3 plus 1. Now this 3s, 3, 3 into 1 plus 0. So GCD here is 1. Now we can write this 1 as 4 minus 3. Now we can eliminate this 3. We can write this as 7 minus 4. So it will be 4 minus 7 minus 4 equals 1, which is 2 into 4 minus 7 equals 1. Now here we need minus 22 plus 5t. So we'll multiply it with minus 22 plus 5t. So it'll be minus 44 plus 10t into 4 and then plus 22 minus 5t into 7 and it is equal to. Now here we'll get x naught as minus 44 plus 10t and we'll get y naught as 22 minus 5t. Now here we can write general solution. So it will be x naught which is minus 44 plus 10t and plus b upon d. Now here b upon d is 7. So it will be plus 7s and y will be 22 minus 5t minus a upon d. So it will be simply minus 4s where s and t they are integers and we have already worked out z z is 11 minus 2t so this is the general integral solution to this equation